Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was just getting ready and I wasn't actually planning on filming a video today, but I was planning on curling my hair and then I was like, you know what? Every time I post a picture on Instagram with my hair curly, I get at least a few questions and requests to show how I curl my hair. And so I thought, you know what? I usually don't even bother curling my hair. I leave it just straight, like blow dried straight because I'm just pressed for time. But if I have an extra 10 minutes, this is my current hair curling routine. So I thought I will share it with you guys and hopefully it will be helpful to you as well. So the only things you will need for this tutorial is a hairbrush to brush through your hair, a clip to hold your hair in place while you're curling, and a curling iron of your choice. Those of you guys who have been following me from the very beginning of Luxy Hair Days, you have seen this curling iron. This is the Cortex 4-in-1. It has four different attachments. This one I believe is a one inch attachment so as you can tell it's been like six years I think that I've had it and I still use it to this day and still love it. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I like the, the one inch um, width the best because it's not too curly, it's not too loose and then as my hair falls out, as the curl falls out, it kind of gives you a loose wave which is perfect. So you kind of have tighter wave and then it opens up. So anyhow without further ado. I'm going to just show you quickly how I like to section my hair and this is super super quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is just brush through the hair and then the secret is to have as least amount of sections as possible. So what I like to do is I section my hair into like two planes and then I section each one into a few subsections. So I kind of go through and section about the temples. So from temple to temple, just using my fingers, just going to cut through and section off that portion. So just like that, going to clip that away. And then the remaining hair, I'm going to divide into four subsections. So super, super easy. I just use my fingers as my guide. So I will use these two sections above my ears. As you can tell, this just goes from the hairline to about the back of the head. Just kind of eyeball it. There's no really signs to it. And then the section in the back will also be divided into two. And I kind of just, again, there's no precision here. Just kind of eyeballing it. Just divide it into two. So I start with the back section and grab my curling iron and start curling the hair inwards. And I like to um, alternate the curls. So if I do this one in, as you can tell, the hair is over the curling iron. I will do this one away from the face. And I like to keep like the last, um, the ends of the hair, which is about like the last two inches off the curling iron, just to have it straight. I prefer that look. Sometimes I leave even more of it out. So it just depends on the type of look you're going for. But it really does does only require about five to eight seconds or so, maybe 10 seconds or so. And the way I check is I just kind of put my fingers over my hair. Be very careful because it's super, super hot. So just kind of quickly. And then as I can tell the hair heats up, I know that it's ready to go. So then I will release that. And this is the type of curl you get. So then I will continue doing the same thing. But now here I'm going to curl away from my face. So just like that, I will curl away from my face and I will leave the last two inches of hair away from the curling iron because that's just the kind of look I like. I don't like the ends to be like super curly. So again, we're going to wait about 10 seconds and release. There you go. And going to go on to this section in the back again. So here again, I'm going, uh, the hair is going over the curling iron. So just like that, I'm going to leave the ends out. So there you go. Now it's pretty hot. I can tell by touching the hair and now I can release. And I'm gonna move on. So when I release the curls, I don't open them up until the very end. And that just allows the hair to cool and for the curls to set. I don't touch it until the very end. So now moving on to this right section. And here again, I'm going to go away from the face. So just going to wrap the hair around the curling iron and leave the ends off the curler. Hold for 10 seconds and release. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to show you guys how I like to section off the top. Again, I'm not going to touch these until the very end. So I'm going to get rid of the clip, clip for now. And wait, what I like to do is just grab a huge section here. This is going to be one. And then same thing, basically just mirroring to the other side. So two, got two sections here. And then 
in the back here I like to section the very crown that will be one section so that's one just kind of make sure they're clean sections and then this will be two so I start in the back so as you can tell again I'm just gonna go through it again maybe it's a little bit hard to see so so here we go we have the two sections in the back then the crown area and then two at the front so I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did for the bottom and curl alternating in and away from my face so this one will be in wrap the hair hold for 10 seconds and release and now it's ready to go so I will release that and move on to this back section so same thing just going to curl going inwards wrap the hair tightly around the curling iron leaving the ends out of the curler hold for 10 seconds and release okay so now I'm going to do the very top section here which is the crown area and for this section I always like to go uh, with the curler under the hair instead of over because it just the hair will sit better once the once the curl is released so as you can tell I put the curler right under and then I just wrap the hair around just like that leaving the ends out hold for about 10 seconds and release okay ready to release now and now we are ready to curl the front two sections so I'm gonna grab my left one here and for the front sections I always like to go away from my face so again I'm gonna grab the curler put it right over the hair the section here start wrapping it around leaving the ends out and wait for 10 seconds and release okay now ready for the very last section here so it's a lot of repetition but I just kind of actually wanted to take you guys through the actual tutorial without speeding up because I always whenever I do that I always get questions about doing it more um, like real time so I thought I will show you guys exactly how I do it and the process so same thing away from the face leave the ends out and hold for 10 seconds before you are ready to release all right so here we go last section is off I'm just gonna turn off the curling iron and what I like to do at this point is either I will flip my hair down and kind of shake it or I just kind of go back and then I just put my fingers right at the root and I start shaking the hair all the way around. So I don't even touch the actual waves. I just kind of touch the um, roots all over and the hair will kind of open up. You can brush through the hair if you want to. For me, I like to leave it the way it is because my hair actually is kind of healthier these days so it doesn't hold the curl very well so I I don't like to brush through the curls because I know that it will fall out in like an hour or two a lot so I just let it be and I just brush through um, just kind of shake it at the root and that's all I really do I mean sometimes I will set it with hairspray um, some days I choose not to like today I don't feel like doing it because my hair is fresh and I don't want to kind of put any products in it so that's really it guys it's super simple again if you have some frizz at the ends you can use some oil or something like that and just kind of run your fingers through the ends of the hair to finish it off um, for like a more polished look but again I wanted to show you guys exactly what I do and this is really truly what I do I just will grab my curler go through the hair in 10 minutes and this will usually last me for a couple days Again, by like the second day, it's pretty much already very, very loose wave, but it still is better for me than like pin straight because I feel like when it's super, super straight on like the second or third day and it lost all the volume from the, you know, the blow drying process, it just kind of looks blah. So that's why I like to have this type of a curl in the hair. And I thought that I will show you guys and hopefully you will find this video helpful. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, then definitely hit that subscribe button button and if you're not following me on Instagram definitely go ahead and do that I share a lot of my lifestyle on there through the stories and through the pictures so go ahead and check that out in the comments below hope you're having a beautiful day I love you guys and I will see you in the next video bye